tutti, benvenuti in questo nuovo video di Games Princess. Io sono Erika, oggi sono in compagnia di Paul Coleman, Chief Game Designer di Dirt 4. Hi Paul. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, really good. It's, uh, it's been a great day here in Milan. My first time in Milan, so really excited. Okay. First of all, uh, uh, what's new in Dirt 4? Uh, yeah, so much stuff. So I, I guess the big, uh, big ticket feature for um, the fans to really enjoy the game for a long time is our procedural stages. So um, it's called Your Stage and it basically means that you can generate rally stages uh, to your heart's content. We reckon there's a near infinite combination of stages that you can have and it means for those fans that have been asking us to make more stages for our previous games, well now you can just be generating these stages uh, to your heart's content and the game should continue forever as a result. But that's not all, I think because this is Dirt 4, this is the next big numbered edition of the franchise, it was really important for us to have a game that um, had a broader appeal, it basically so more people could play it. We know that Dirt Rally for example was quite simulation, if you didn't have the time to invest in uh, learning to drive the car, learning to drive the stages, then it became quite frustrating and there was a barrier to entry there. So the main thing that we've done is to introduce our gamer handling model. This allows novice players to brake later, turn in later to corners, essentially make what a sim player would describe as a mistake uh, and get away with it. And we've found that that allows novice players to essentially um, get to grips with the game, understand the stages and then um, kind of find their feet and then they start warming to the experience and after uh, you know a few hours you may be tempted to then start playing with simulation at which point it opens it up and it becomes like a whole new game experience again so that that broad appeal that accessibility uh, was a really important thing for us to get right and we want as many people as possible to play this game um, so coupled with a much kind of bigger um, spectrum of events that you can compete in, a more in-depth career mode, uh, a big soundtrack as well, so you've got great music all the way through the game. You know, this is a proper dirt game now. This isn't a spin-off, this is the big, this is a big deal, and you know, we believe we've delivered an experience that should speak to many, many gamers. You're not just a game designer, you're also a co-driver. How your experience as a co-driver help you developing this game? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I did start as uh, a game developer and it was only through working on these amazing games that I got an opportunity um, to, to co-drive. And the, the guy who gave me the opportunity was a fan of the game, but he did rally driving as well and he felt like we could do so much more. So he almost like gave me the opportunity to try and steer me into making better rally games and I think it worked. I think. Um, the experience that I have sat in the co-driver seat, um, the atmosphere of the event, waiting on the start line for the car in front to leave um, and then you take your place on the start line, going over the finish line and, and winding down to the Marshall Post, they're all small elements that we've been able to bring into the experience and, and basically make this game feel closer to the real sport as possible. Now there's loads and loads of stuff that we have it, or I've experienced in real life that I've then not brought into the game because not suitable for the game experience. So, so my knowledge as a games designer meets the experience that I have co-driving and I like to think those two things being brought together helps us make a, a much more rounded experience and one that I think all our fans will really appreciate. We know that the core rally fans appreciate the extra touches but there's no reason why somebody who doesn't understand Rally shouldn't be able to get a better understanding of Rally based on the fact that they're playing this game that's been built with Rally at its heart. Dirt 4 is uh, the sixth game uh, to carry the name. Uh, what's the secret formula to keep uh, the series going? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I started working in games uh, to work on Colin McRae Rally, the first game I worked on was uh, well, it was actually Race Driver 2 but then I, the first Colin game I worked on was um, 2005. It then became Dirt uh, and I've worked on every single edition and the key thing is that we try and keep things as fresh as possible and introduce new things whether that's new ways to play, 
new technology like your stage or um, just fantastic uh, new people to race against. I think uh, we did that very successfully with Dirt 2 and Dirt 3 um, and yeah it's, it's always looking at how we can improve ourselves because it would be very easy for us to not try and take big steps forward because we believe that we are at the forefront of off-road racing um, and we could just sit there and say well we're, we're in the lead we don't need to do anything new but for us it's really important to innovate and keep things fresh so yeah that's that's it for us it's our passion and that's why we do it let's pretend that i'm a, a, a newbie i'm a gamer who is buying for the first time a game of the series uh, of the series what uh, do you suggest uh, what yeah, so um, definitely start out with the game of handling uh, and then uh, go to the rally school, maybe do a few of the tutorials and, and just get an understanding for what it is to go rally driving and why perhaps it's different from driving a car on the road or even um, even driving a race car on tarmac is very different to, to rally driving. Um, once you've found your feet there, then I'd start out in the career and go out as a driver for hire so get team offers from teams and then again when you're getting a bit more confident there you can buy your first car put all your livery on it and and make it look with your team identity uh, start hiring in some staff and and just constantly grow within the game I think there's so much to see and do throughout the game there's always something new and exciting to try out um, so you should never feel bored you should always feel like there's something new new to try out but at the same time, I think uh, it's all about pacing yourself and going at the pace that you're comfortable with. So don't try and go too fast. I, I think that's what they tell you at all rally schools, at all racing schools, is don't try and go as fast as you see real racing drivers go. You find your pace because you'll get quicker by not crashing. So yeah, that's the, that's the key. Okay, last, last question. Now, what's the thing that will make me say wow while playing Dirt 4? So we have, um, we have some moments in the game that um, we've designed to ensure that you are always kept on your toes. We know that uh, all our players eventually will get familiar with the game and they will understand how the car handles and how the stages work and although the stages will always be fresh and you'll always have a new stage to be driving through, you, you will get into a state of flow and be comfortable. So we then throw in some moments that are designed to maybe draw your attention away. So you'll be driving down a stage and one of your competitors will be broken down at the side of the road and you'll, you'll, maybe your attention will be drawn away to look at them and then before you know it you'll, you'll have made a mistake. So we want to take players slightly out of their comfort zone and make sure that they're feeling like they're having to adapt and um, it's that mindset of carrying on regardless and, and not letting stuff phase you that we've really tried to capture. Uh, and that's why we say be fearless for, for a lot of our trailers and stuff like that because it, it's all tying into what it means to be an off-road racing driver. And um, yeah, so I think those moments are the ones where you feel like, oh, oh wow. It, they're really cool, but I don't want to give any spoilers, so you need to play the game to see them. Okay, thank you so much, Paul, uh, for being with me. Uh, can I ask you to say ciao to our reader? Yeah, ciao. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm not doing the interview in Italian. I am actually half Italian, so uh, yeah, I feel really bad when I come to Italy and I can't speak the language because I feel like I come from here, but I can't say hi, so ciao. <laughs> thank you, ciao.